In fact, there are so many ways to mask an image in Fizzlelab without having to struggle through anything like adding it as a texture and stuff like that, right? So based on a recent video that I made on how to design a birthday flyer, I mean this particular video, a subscriber asked in the comments if I could make a dedicated video on how to mask images in Fizzlelab. So in this video, I'm going to do just that, right? So without further ado, let's jump into it. Good, so I'm going to clear off everything, probably start from here. Okay, so what I'm going to explain over here, you actually have to pay close attention to it. Because if you do not pay close attention, I doubt if you'll be able to get it, right? It's actually simple, but you have to pay close attention to it. And the thing is basically, it's like you can apply it in other fields of your designing. It's not only applied to what I'm going to do over here. You can pick the idea from here and use it in whatever design that you are working on. I hope this is pretty much clear, right? So right now we can actually go into it much detail. So let's assume I want to mask a particular image like this one. What I'm going to do is first of all import a shape or any image at all I want to use. So in this case I'm going to import a shape. Alright, so I'm just going to make it a little bit big to fill up my entire working area. Let's say this. Okay. And the background color, let's change the background color to um let's let's just pick a color let's say this right so we have this thing on top of it like this and we want to mask an image onto this particular green background and how do we do that okay so what we have to do is to make sure we lock our green image over here and the next thing that we want to do is to import a shape okay import a shape that will look like how you want your masked image to look like guys take note of this I'm, I'm repeating myself so import a shape all right that will look just like the way you want your mask image to look like so in this case let's say i'm going to import a shape like this let me pick a shape over here mm, i think i'll go with this one all right so let's say i want the image to appear in this kind of format right so i just have to import it over here and put it at the exact location that i want the mask image to appear like the one i did in the birthday flyer design video okay so let's say i want to do exactly the same thing over here i'll just leave this one over here and make it give it a color that is different different from the color that is being applied at the background in this case the green color okay so i'm going to match these two So after merging them, I'll now go ahead to erase color because I want to cut off the white portion, right? So after cutting it off like this, I can come back and apply the same green color to it just to make sure that what, everything is perfect. Now I have to go ahead and lock it again. So the next thing for me to do right now is to bring in the image that I want to, you know, mask. The reason why we are doing this is to create a space. You can see that the background color, which is kind of pink, is the one showing right now so we just created a hole in the green shape we imported so that we can put the image beneath it so let's do that quickly let me pick one image from here okay let's assume i'm going to use uh image like this so i'll just crop it sideways like this and tap on this so what i have to do here is to make sure that i position this image beneath this right so this is what we'll be having so if i move it you can see what is happening over here okay it's only the face that is showing or the part that i want to show that is the part i'll show so let's say i reduce the size of it this is how it's going to appear okay and if your image is having a background it will appear with a background okay so let me import one image with a background probably the same image but with a background okay so I'm going to import it here and I have to bring it down of course and I'm going to hide this okay so what I have to do is to make sure that I position it over here and guys I hope you can see this you can see how the whole thing is pretty much easy right and I hope this this should be of help right so 
let's say i don't want this kind of shape so i'm just going to go back and clear off everything right now okay so i'm deleting this let's say i'm importing a different kind of shape probably something like this okay so i'm going to you know curve it this way i'm actually doing what i did in the other video which which uh, i received a comment on how to do this thing i'm actually doing something similar to it this time around again so i'm positioning this over here and like i said i'm going to merge the two all right you have to merge it after that then you come to erase color then you cut it off like this and you can probably go ahead and increase the color of it but in some cases you actually don't have to increase the color of this stuff okay because your texture or whatever you're using uh, the shape to cut might have a different colors within it so if you change the color of it that means it's going to have only one color which probably is something that you don't want okay so you can just leave it like that right so i'm just going to lock it over here and import one image so um, I'm just going to search through my gallery and see which image that's available for me to use right now. So quickly, let me see what I can pick up over here and use. Okay, I'll pick this lady's image and use. Good, so what I have to do, like I did earlier, I have to bring it beneath this. And this is how it will be showing you guys. <laughs> this is pretty much simple. And if you want to make it appear like it's on the or the green background you can apply some shadow effect to it okay you can apply some shadow effect to it so let me do that quickly by applying a little bit shadow effect to this and make it realistic as possible right so i'm making a color black and look at what i'm going to do like yo to be creative is just like you imagine something and you bring it to you no know, reality okay you imagine a thing then you bring it to reality it's simple guys and i hope this video is being like you it's helping right if you like my videos don't forget to you know smash that like button and also you know subscribe to this channel right so you can see what is happening over here it is appearing as if the latest image is being put into this kind of shape and it's hanging Meanwhile, the lady shape is actually beneath the whole image. Alright, it's actually beneath the whole green background. So this is something that you can incorporate into your designing. And guys, you'll be good to go. And yo, I'm having fun here because this thing is, is pretty much cool that you can actually, you know, do. Right. So I hope you've actually learned something out of this. If if you have any other questions, just let me know. Feel free. Yeah, feel free. Let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to attend to you. Any other thing that you need, let me know in the comments. Yeah, this goes to here. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bless up.